Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 12 of this school building. Let's get started. So in this video, we're going to send it to twin motion. You were able to finish everything um, from what I'm seeing. And we could just go back to Revit if we need it. So I'm going to send this to twin motion now. It's already um, loading. And then we're going to choose a new project. So we just need to wait. Okay, so it was already loaded. Uh, first things first, let's save this. And I'm just going to save this to my twin motion file, school, and then save this. It's a good idea to save all the time so now that is done we can now change the materials right here so go to the left side click on this arrow and click on the materials first I'm gonna change the glass I might use the dark tinted glass and then turn the opacity up like that next um, the concrete I want the concrete to look like I'm just looking, maybe this one will be nicer, or this one. So that's nice enough. I'll probably put the scale around 3. And then this one. So the brick. I want a different brick. I know Megascan. I have I've chosen a brick here before that I really like. So modern. I believe maybe this is the one. Yes. So I like this brick. This the look of it. So it looks good. Maybe I could change this. I'm going to change this instead. So the concrete, I want it to be this one. And I'm going to scale it up like that. Yeah, around to you is good. It's perfect. And then we could have this one as uh, wood. There's quick cell that has good wood. I might go back undo this first and then save this for now go back to Revit and change this because the roof material and this are the same so I just want to change that quickly so while this is saving go back to Revit and I want to double check 
what I use here. So uh, yes, I did use the same one. So I'm just going to quickly change this. Hopefully I don't change or I don't use another one. CMU lightweight. So I'm just going to use this for now for the roof. And then I want to save this first, go back to twin motion and then see in twin motion so now we could basically add this brick or wood i don't want this kind of wood so i'm i'm going to look around I'm not going to use parquet. I'm going to use plank. And I'm going to use this. Or maybe this one will look nicer. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, I'd rather use this. This one looks good. So we have the wood there. And then we could use metal here. And then the veneer would be this one. I want the veneer to be the cedar here. And then something like that but this one is too reflective so i'm gonna change it a little bit like so you can actually put an overhang here and extend this more maybe i could do that now so i'm gonna save this and then go back to revit And then just push this out. The problem with this is that this one So only the one for the front is good to be changed like that. And then I'm going to put this one back. So I'm going to create a copy. And then I'm just going to copy it. Remove the constraint and put it right here. So copy remove the constraint and then get it from here so this one is not, I just need to move this one then remove this so I already did multiple times and then go back to 3d first and then see it on twin motion and this one will be extended a little bit so that looks nicer I want to change this to metal so I'm gonna go back to twin motion materials metal and then something steel would be good and then for 
metal or the roof here This will be good enough. Uh, we could change this to wood only at the top. And I just want to double check that this is concrete. Um, I could choose a better concrete here. This one would be good enough. And then this one should be fine or something that I used before ground man-made I want to see this A concrete road So this one looks nice. I like the color combination. Um, let's see if we change this metal. So maybe a darker. Because I know this is aluminum and maybe we can make it darker. Or something gray would be fine as well. So that's good. And then this one, this railing, I know we have a default, but I'm going to use a chrome and change this to dark. And then this material so something black like that so it's distinguished you can even change this to stone if we want but let's leave it like this as I like the the difference of materials right now and then now we could add in some grass so usually I do grass and and uh, trees last because that takes up too much graphics Or it will take a while so so let's start adding the grass so I'm gonna click this isolate so click the floor make sure the scene graph is open and then let's isolate this after that Go here at context, vegetation paint, and then as you can see, this is all opened. And then you just need to go to grass. I like this long grass. And then 
we could click this one, change the density to 100, and then click this again so that the diameter is not grayed out. So only when you click this, the de density will be um, available. And then you can change the size as well, the dryness and everything. And then once you click this, you can change the diameter now. So now let's start in adding this. So this will take so much um, computer graphics power. So make sure that you have a good graphics card. So I'm just doing this, finishing everything like so. The most important is the front because the one at the back it's also needed, but we're not going to do any of um, the views there. So maybe halfway here, we're just going to do this. But before, but let's just do this for the sake of it. I don't want to go back again and finish something. Maybe I could, uh, I'm going to add as seen there later on so so if your computer is capable why not okay so now that's done I can press escape and then try to click this again and then iso isolate off and if you zoom in now you can see that it's almost populating everything but if you zoom out you won't be seeing this that much you can click this change the setting we can make this one smaller so that it's it looks fine okay I'm going to change it back to around 39, 40. And then next thing, so try to save this first. And here we forgot to do this, so I'm just going to change the diameter and add this. So I'm going to undo this. And then isolate this again. So once this, everything's good, you were able to add the grass right here as well. Now it's better if we add trees so we're gonna do the same thing or maybe we're gonna do it individually so that we could control it so if you click this you can actually keep on adding like that I'm gonna do it like this for now on the perimeter
I'm just adding it. And then uh, I'm going to add a smaller tree afterwards. And then I want to populate more. So random. So I think this one we need to use the vegetation paint. Because we need to use more of this so that it's easier for us. Density should be around 56 or 59. And then select everything and then click this. Make it smaller. Something like that. Um, I want to make sure that this is spread out. So that it covers all. And then here we could add the density. And of course, we're going to add some here as well, but small ones. I'm going to add this. And for this one as well. Let's add some plants. Okay, so 
that's good I'm happy with that just gonna add some little details here And I'm going to add some small trees here. For this one, I'm going to make it smaller. So that's good enough. And some up here. I'm going to space this out like that. And let's add in some objects so some CT objects like benches and then we can add street lights we could use this And then some signage. And then here, I'm just going to add some buildings that I have before. So user library buildings. I have some old So just for background.
So at least every everywhere you look, we are covered. Then maybe the last thing that I'm gonna do is add in some sidewalks. Or better yet, I'm going to do it in Revit instead so that it's easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ground floor. I'm going to save this. Go to architecture, floor, edit type, duplicate, sidewalk. And then after that, edit type, change this material, I'm going to use earth, uh, I think I haven't used it, but it's just a quick way of adding sidewalk first, I'm going to do this. And then I think I can only use one and then 1500. So let's see. So this one, remove the offset now. Just close this off. If not, I'll just redo this. So, belay arc, this, and this. So now, I'm gonna offset this to 200 and then if you see this it's above ground and we could do this on the other side as well so floor again and I think this is easier because we could just use this. And then offset 1500. And then escape. So that we could close this off. And then we could Play artless. Okay, and then click finish and then offset this to two hundred. And then now let's send it back to twin motion. But save it first 
and also I want to change the materials of this so modify the below of this so this would be paint I'm just gonna paint the face of this so let's see something that I haven't used yet textile bamboo hopefully I haven't used that I want to see the low of this And I think that's it. And then I'll save and then send it to Twin Ocean. So this one, I want this one to be first. A wood material okay so I'm happy with this the combination is much better I'm going to change this to mahogany and make it darker. And then this one, of course, concrete. Ground, man made, and then concrete. What we could do now is add in some cars or buses. So let's see if we have a school bus. We don't, but we could add in the yellow one. this one is right there let's add in some other cars obviously you cannot do that Do red. And one more car. Mm 
and then let's add in some more objects for the street so maybe sign signage there So I believe this will be my image, so around like this. I want to make sure that my camera is, parallelism is on, vignetting is around 45 or 50. Visual effect, color gradient is blue tint, contrast, and then RGB. So around 30 for this, RGB around 60. This is on and let's move it a little bit forward like that. And this one will be good enough scene. I want to make sure this one is moved a little. Similar to the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to take a picture. So go to media, image, and that's the shot. Of course, you can change this one depending on what you like. But for me, I'm just going to stick with this and work on this for now. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.